I can't breathe My lungs are full of smoke Don't recognize this town no more Strip back to the core Paul Jenkins is somewhat of a creative genius from comic books. He's a screenwriter, he's a gamer, you name it. And I get to talk to him right now for Georgia Hollywood Review TV. So Paul, that's how I describe you. How do you describe yourself? Uh, that's a bit of a difficult one. Um, I'm, I'm a person that primarily focuses on cross-media development and production. So maverick is a good word, I suppose. A creative maverick. But what's fascinating, so you come from England, rural England, and then you get your start on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How? Well, I have a really good uh, immigrant story. Um, I came to the States with 50 bucks and oh. uh, I never went back. Um, I happened to be in Northampton, Massachusetts, and I met a couple of guys that had a black and white comic book, um, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, and they had just got the right to make a toy and a TV show. Um, and I was a musician at the time, I was playing in a band, and I kind of knew them from town, and they did an album cover for my band. Uh, and clearly they were getting big, and so I kind of said, fellas, why don't I come and work with you? Um, they said that was absolutely fine, and the next thing, you know, I was, I was the third employee technically, um, and when it all went down, um, basically it exploded. And next thing I know, I'm on the set and we're making the films and we own the biggest licensing phenomenon of all time. And then, of course, there's the Star Trek fan base spin off. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I just directed a project called Axe and Art, or we're in the process of actually making it. I helped the people rewrite it. It's kind of an interesting project because um, I'm, I'm full of admiration for creators. You know, a big thing that we did with Ninja Turtles, a big thing that we did that spun out of it was that we were always mentoring creators. We kind of really believe that the fundamental basis of anything that you make is not necessarily just the story. It's generally if you can train and, and help creators to do really good stuff. Um, so the people behind Axanar, the Star Trek spin-off, um, they had done a great fan film. It was a really big project and they got sued by CBS because I think it was probably too good uh, <laughs> and they spent too much money on it. And so CBS tried to kind of re revise what the rules were, which is understandable. Um, so they managed to settle out of court with uh, CBS. And so I've come in to help uh, write and now direct it. And we just shot it last week up in Lawrenceville. We shot the stuff here. Uh, so we were on a giant bridge with a big spaceship, uh, which was a ton of fun, uh, getting actors to kind of throw themselves around as they got hit by photon torpedoes. No? I mean, Paul, the reality of the whole comic book genre and gaming and the creative world that you're involved in right now, there's an explosion. So much so that you've been asked to be on the governor's advisory board. Yeah, a few years ago, I was in uh, a panel at Georgia State University and there, was, there were three people from Atlanta. Obviously, I'm an immigrant. Um, one of them from Tyler Perry Studios, one from... Um, Turner and then there were three academics that had come from different places and the question was will Atlanta become the third leg of a creative store uh, so my answer was yes because I've always worked outside of LA and New York or I should say I've lived there but I've always worked there um, and everyone else on the panel said no and so it was a life-changing experience for me because um, there was a, a woman from USC who said, and I quote about, about younger people and, and the brain drain. She said, what you need to do with your young people is send them to me uh, so they can have their hearts broken and their dreams crushed. And if they're still standing <laughs> after five years, they're realistically employable. And I won't tell you what I said, but it involved swear words. And then, so basically uh, the governor's daughter happened to be there and they came and talked to me and said, you know, it'd be great if you spoke to the governor. So I told him what I felt very passionately. And he asked me to chair an advisory committee for him on that. So you've chosen to make Atlanta Georgia home Meta Studios. So tell us more about Meta Studios and what you're working on right now. <clears throat> yeah, um, Meta just, uh, it took life when I was working with Jim Jacoby's company up in uh, Norcross. We had the Atlanta Media Campus, which sadly never got off the ground. Um, and from that, you know, Meta's, Meta's kind of like an abstract overview of things. You know, you have a Meta view of things, you see it from outside. Oh. But uh, it's an acronym that stands for Media, Education, Technology and Advancement. Mm. Uh, and the idea behind it is media is what I do. Education is something that I genuinely care about. Um, technology is the thing that kind of sets us apart because we work with new media. We work with, uh, I just actually uh, started the first job in a, in a kind of digital storytelling form that's never been done before. Um, 
And then advancement is all about building up the creative community. And that takes me back to my Ninja Turtle days, which is when we were there, we wanted to help creators move themselves forward. So we kind of exist as the good guy, we hope. Um, we have some core values that are very important to us in Meta. Uh, I don't think there's any reason why we can't create a business that does some good. Um, so a lot, of us, a lot of our stuff is about mentoring people and helping the creative community kind of grow. So it was interesting when I spoke to Paul earlier, I said to him, people are so obsessed with comic books and the genre and, and Marvel. And he said, it's less about the comics and more about the story. Yeah, I think if you speak to anybody in this industry, they'll always explain to you if they know what they're doing, that story's everything and everything else is secondary. So you can take an example. If you look at something like a faith-based project, one of the reasons why faith-based projects tend to have difficulty is that they want to give a message, but they're less likely to put the story first. Um, mm -hmm. And the message is usually the thing that they want to put out there. And the problem is they're losing a lot of millennials now because they're not entertaining people. They're not creating a story that people will actually follow. The so story and character is everything. And when I came into Marvel, you know, they were in chapter 11 bankruptcy. They were going out of business. They were that close to chapter seven. And it seems kind of absurd now, but they were just falling apart. And they went to the last resort of a creative corporation. They came to somebody like myself and said, all right, we broke it so badly, we're gonna actually let you just do whatever it is that you do. What's that wizardy stuff that you normally do? <laughs> uh, and so we, they allowed us to rebuild their content and they allowed it with good storytelling and characterization and stuff because th they didn't have a sense of how to rebuild it. It has to start with story and character. Everything else is secondary because to, cr to finish that, explanation none of us have swung around town punching people dressed in spandex none of us have been a superhero like that but we've all worked out how hard it is to go do your job or to how to be a parent those are heroic things so we all see the story none of us actually experience the flying around stuff yeah it all comes from character so there's so much more to comic books and storytelling than and the thought that goes into it so finally, I mean, Paul, you are aspirational for so many young graphic designers, artists, storytellers. You know, people look at you and go, I want to be Paul Jenkins when I grow up. What advice or guidance do you give to them? Um, two things usually that I will tell them if, if I've got 30 seconds. One of them will be that confidence is exactly equal to accomplishment. So if you're confident, you will always do better than if you start having it erode. And the second thing is, there is an old maxim that says that writers write. The concept being, if you're a writer, go ahead and make stuff. And I call foul on that, writers finish. Can you explain that a little bit more? Um, there's no sense in being in the middle of creating something. If you created the most beautiful painting of all time and it made people cry to see it, and then you walked it into the middle of a forest, what value does it have? It has no value whatsoever because nobody can, can see this thing. So if you're in the process of writing, that doesn't mean anything, but you have to finish the, the first draft of a project or you have to build the first statue or you have to make the film in order to have something that people can look at and you can look at critically. So writers don't write, writers finish. Very profound from Paul Jenkins. So I've given you a new title, which is Magician. So Magician, creative, um, master comic book designer, writer, novelist, and finally, what's next for you? Uh, so we just, I just wrote and directed a Star Trek project. I just did the digital storytelling project that we're doing. I'm writing a screenplay for a very well-known um, stunt coordinator right now, because a lot of stunt coordinators are getting big films. Um, then my company, Meta Studios, you know, we are uh, raising money. We're working on film stuff here. We are doing game stuff here. Um, I'm about to go and work on a theme park in Asia uh, to do the story of the theme park because it's kind of going to have a virtual. So I basically do everything. <laughs> I do wizardy stuff. Yeah. I love Paul Jenkins because he's one of those people who really makes work fun, but he's also investing in Atlanta and making Georgia home. Paul Jenkins, thank you very much for joining us on Georgia Hollywood Review. <laughs> It's just your vibe Strip the land of what you need Then turn a blind eye Yeah